Let's talk about the most cool superhero in My Hero Academia, and that's Hawks. Hawks is the cool hero in My Hero Academia, okay? The way he looks, his abilities, his powers, just... So that's what we're here to discuss. He has been relevant in the last couple of chapters, so I'm like, okay, let's talk about Hawks. Why not? First of all, I'm the one Straha. If you enjoy my content, please leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Other than that, let's get right into this video. Play the intro. <laughs> So for anime only, the anime of My Hero Academia is coming out next week and I'm excited as hell. I used to review the anime. I don't know if I'm going to be doing that now. I might, I'm still thinking about it. It depends all on this week or I might just continue doing the manga reviews uh, and like the manga discussions that I'm currently doing. I feel like we might stick to the manga reviews or the manga discussions. I feel like they're more fun. I feel like it's just more relevant right now to talk about the manga. So I opened my window because it's really hot in here. So if you hear any background noises, just letting you know that's what it's from. And for anime onlys, they don't know who Hawks is yet. So you anime onlys are in for a ride, okay? But let's talk about Hawks' powers, his abilities first of all. Then we'll just talk about his character for a bit. And I think that's how we'll close out the a video. So Hawks is the number two hero in My Hero Academia right after Endeavor. Hawks' quirk is known as Fierce Wings. Now, what is it? It's basically just huge wings on his back that allow him to fly. Now you might be like, okay, that's cool, but like... There's way better quirks. How is he the number two? Like, there's people that can shoot fire. There's all these other cool quirks. Listen, when I tell you there is so much he could do with these wings, there is a lot. First of all, yeah, he could fly, but at these extreme speeds, okay? He's probably one of the fastest heroes we've seen. I would even bet on my money that he's faster in, than Ingenium or Ingenium, whatever you want to call him. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Tenya's brother, okay? I bet you he's faster than him because, yes, Tenya's brother is fast, but he runs, okay? Anything in the air where there's no traffic, there's no buildings, he can fly over everything, I would want to put my money on Hawks to be faster. Now, with these wings, they are very powerful, okay? He could pluck out his feathers and use them as blades. I'm telling you, he uses his long feathers as blades, as swords. Like, how much more cool than that can you get? And the red wings, that's just insane, okay? Um, not only that, with his feathers, he could feel vibrations and sounds, so he could hear people that are far away. He could also use it as like sonar, echolocation, or whatever you want to call it. So there's a lot of uses to that part of the aspect, so he could be used for reconnaissance. Which is what he's kind of doing in the latest chapters of My Hero. And after he plucks his feathers out, he could obviously... he, he First of all, he could shoot his feathers. So just think, if you're thinking he's not a ranged fighter, you could be like, Okay, I'm just going to stay at my distance and attack him with my flames. No, he's a ranged fighter as well. He could shoot his feathers at you. Okay, and now when he does pluck his feathers, it takes about a day to regrow those feathers. So... Yes, there is a limit to how much feathers he has. Obviously, he's not that powerful. He's not OP, but he is still rather powerful. So let's talk about him as a character, what I think about him, my opinions, what he's done so far in the series. So, so far, he's currently, uh, he's a good person. Okay, so some people are confused. Yes, he's a good guy. Okay, he's just spying on the League of Villains within the inside. So he's basically a double agent. Okay, so he acts like he's a part of the League of Villains and he tells them, oh, I'm going to tell you what the heroes are doing. But in reality, he's just betraying the league of villains and telling the heroes what the league of villains is actually doing now how did he get his connections to the league of villains i have no clue i'm, I'm pretty sure it's through dobby maybe he knew dobby once a while back i don't know um another thing about his character is he seems very like easygoing go go with the flow type of character okay he never stresses a lot and he, he's a clever character as well. He's very smart. Especially in the latest chapter when he left that coded message for Endeavor. And Endeavor actually figured it out. So Endeavor gets, you know, brain points as well. He's not all bronze. We know that Hawks also trained Tokoyami. It makes sense. Both of them being like these bird type of people. Both of them like having the same aspects. You know, he has like wings like a bird. And that guy, Tokoyami, is a bird. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, so that's the character of Hawks. There isn't really much to say. I don't want to make my videos too long. Uh, just because I have more stuff planned and I want to work on it really quickly. I'm going to keep my videos quick, short, and to the point. Okay, if you guys enjoy that type of videos, those type of videos, leave a like, comment, subscribe as I said in the beginning. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, guys.